The king yesterday had some pretty strong words about the deaths of Palestinians. Um, what was President Biden's sense of that meeting, and, and does that impact his own advocacy with the Prime Minister of Israel as well? The President, too, had some pretty strong words about uh, civilian deaths uh, and, uh, and how there's been too many. Um, certainly, the conduct of the operations was of discussion yesterday. I won't go into more detail than that, but you can expect. Of course, they talked about the conduct of the operations. And as for what effect that conversation yesterday uh, will have or uh, the, the President's own thinking on, on, uh, on the conduct of the operations, which, again, he's been very candid about on Prime Minister Netanyahu's decision-making, I, I couldn't say. I would just leave you with this. We have consistently conveyed uh, our concerns uh, to our Israeli counterparts, including the Prime Minister, uh, about moving forward uh, in Rafah in a major way without due consideration of civilians. And we have consistently conveyed privately and publicly, but privately too, uh, our concerns about the need to continue to look for ways to reduce civilian casualties. As the President said yesterday, there's been too many. Thanks. Um, John, the President said that there should be a credible and executable plan in place uh, to safeguard civilians in Rafah before Israel were to launch any kind of ground invasion. What is, in the White House view, what would a credible plan look like? How would you ever realistically move 1.4 million people out of the way? I think what, uh, what first of all, you know, they'd, have to, they'd be the ones that have to come up with this plan. I think what we want to see in, in any kind of a plan to make it credible would be to account for, as I think MJ was asking me yesterday, to account for the now more than mil a million people, some estimates up to a million and a half, that are seeking refuge in Rafah. It's a small geographical space, the Gaza Strip, period. It's really small down there around Rafah, and you got a million to a million and a half people that um, are seeking safety. And so any credible plan that could be executable would have to take into account their physical movement, safe movement, as well as a oh, um, uh, proper uh, substance for them, you know, food, water, medicine, access to, to health care, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, be able to, to stay uh, in, together as family units. So all of that would have to be uh, factored in. Does the White House believe there is any possible plan out there that would be executable? given the infrastructure situation within Gaza right now? Uh, again, we haven't seen what the Israelis are thinking or what, uh, what exactly they're putting pen to paper on. Pr Prime Minister Netanyahu said that he had tasked his army, the IDF, to do exactly that. So we'll see what they come up with.